Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk Can Do Press Bell Button for Notifications Just a couple of days back, the Supreme Court of India dismissed two review petitions filed against its judgment dated 27th September 2018 which, were, which, which decriminalized uh, adultery by you know, striking down section 497 of the Indian Penal Code. In the last two days, I have received numerous requests from viewers seeking clarity, uh, you know, as to, to the legal implications of adultery in India. Section 497 of the Indian Penal Code, which has since been declared unconstitutional, uh, provides that any person who has sexual intercourse with a woman who is, who is and whom he knows or has reason to believe to be the wife of another man, and such in, uh, sexual intercourse being without the consent or connivance of her husband shall constitute adultery. And it shall be punishable with, with, uh, with, with an imprisonment for a term which may extend to, uh, to five years. In such case, the wife shall not be punishable as an abettor, uh, uh, that is as an accomplice. So basically, adultery is an offense against the husband whose wife was engaged in the sexual intercourse with uh, that, that per, uh, violator or that person or that offender under section uh, 497. The Supreme Court by passing a detailed judgment running into more than 200 pages struck down the 158 year old section 497 of the Indian Penal Code as unconstitutional and manifestly arbitrary on several grounds, including that it affected the individual dignity and equality of women by operating on, on, on a premise that the husband is the master of wife. Legal sovereignty of one sex over the other sex is wrong, said the court, and, and that respect for sexual autonomy must be emphasized. Quite ridiculously, you know, section 497 punished a man for having sex with a wife of another man, uh, though the sexual act got ex ex excused, exempted from punishment if it was done with the consent or connivance of the husband of that woman. The very basis for criminalizing adultery was the assumption that a woman is considered as the property of the husband. And, and you know, cannot have uh, relations outside uh, the marriage. However, the court clarified, that's important, that adultery will be a ground for divorce. It will continue to be so, uh, a ground for divorce. And it, it asserted that an act of adultery, you know, which leads to the aggrieved spouse uh, suicide, the adulterous partner could be prosecuted for abetment of suicide under uh, you know, section 306 of the Indian Penal Code. Yes. So it is decriminalized, but it could still be a ground for divorce and abetment of suicide in case of a suicide. So hope I was able to answer all your questions. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk and do press bell button for notifications.